Go Greyhound and leave the driving to us for shifted into gear in 1914 as a way to transport Minnesota miners. Now that's all coming up on the next Cruising with Kendra. Hey cruisers, we're driving a 1912 Maxwell. This car was a definition of luxury back in the early part of the 20th century, and to drive this car off the lot was a whopping $625. Perhaps the most notable thing about the Maxwell is its signature horn. Car expert Paul Fabi knows a thing or two about these brassy beauties. One of the questions I continually get is, why isn't this wood? And if you look in the floor, you'll see also see the same thing. It's called Battleship Linoleum. The reason it's called Battleship Linoleum is that it actually was developed by the Navy for their battleships. Maxwell also gained notoriety for being the car of choice for television host Jack Benny. And Maxwell was one of the first cars that targeted advertising towards women drivers. But in 1914, not everyone could afford a car. And that'll take us to our next stop on the Iron Range. Whether you're going on that family vacation or just going to go cruise across the country. Welcome aboard, Miss Summer. Oh, thank you. All right. <laughs> this bus line has played a pivotal role in the American road trip culture and had its own history. Smooth as a feather, comfortable as floating on air. It's Greyhound's exclusive new scenic cruiser service. Most people know Greyhound from seeing the big buses on the road, but to find out that it actually started from something as simple as that. You know, becoming a Greyhound bus driver takes a rigorous six weeks of training, isn't that right? Yes. Have you ever wondered how Greyhound got the name? Oh, at times, yeah. Yeah, we'll tell you. Oh, Wilbur, what if Aunt Martha missed her connection? <laughs> no such luck. Oh, Wilbur, be nice. Aunt Martha doesn't visit that often. <laughs> She will when she discovers the convenience of Greyhound through service. They, they used automobiles at first, and then later they needed to have more people. They took uh, white trucks, which were dump trucks, took the box off them and built wooden bodies. And then after that, a company called Fagel, F-A-G-E-O-L, -E started manufacturing buses because it started to grow. And uh, th their color was silver. And when they went down the road, people thought they looked like a, a, a running greyhound. Now the design has had a few upgrades since then, such as Wi-Fi, an electrical plug-in, and let's not forget the leather reclining seats. It's such a comfort to take the bus and leave the driving to us in a greyhound bus. Lucky us in a greyhound bus. Well, cruisers, that was fun. I'm going to hit the open road, but I'll see you on the next Cruising with Kendra. Follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash cruising with Kendra. We'll see you next time.